This series has been absolutely insane. I am loving the hell out of this game. It's such a great time. I'm having a blast. I'm excited to see how the story continues to develop. And I just realized as soon as I hit the start record that this is episode 70. I knew this game was going to be a long series just because it took me like 80 something hours to finish uh, Persona 4. So I knew this game was going to be a long one. But to be here and be on that grind, recording, editing, and uploading episodes and reaching episode 70 is pretty big for me. I'm, I'm happy. Like, it's, it's, it's a real good confidence booster, I guess, to say the least. But we're going to return to the real world. All things considered, this palace was really short. Which is nice. Like, I don't mind that at all. Even though there was a lot. But, yeah, no, this palace was very short. Yes. Yeah. So what happens now? You're back. Sorry. All I can, all I can do is welcome you home. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? I think it's Shadow Morgana. No, it's not. I want to know where Shadow Morgana is up to, though, because it's already revealed Shadow Morgana. So I wonder where they're going to do that, but I have no idea who the masked figure would be. No idea. Maybe it's... <gasps> Maybe it's Sojiro! Maybe. Maybe it is Sojiro. Because he's like trying to get revenge for Futaba's mother or something. And he learned about the cognitive world from her. Maybe. And when he like goes out, he like goes to the, the world, the metaverse. Yo, imagine. It's a possibility. True, but there'd be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready. Ooh, crossword. Let me pull up the guide, unless I can guess it real quick here. The, these gay, oh, it's exams, E-X-A. No, it would be test then. Before I could even open the guide. No, not tests. What? It's not tests and it's not not exams. There's no Q, so it can't be quizzes. Pull an all nighter. What? Rat race result. Study aids. Let me just, I'll pause and pull up the guide. It's fucking finals. Uh, I mean, yes, but it's a final is a test and an exam. Whatever. Thanks, guide. I appreciate you. Yeah, I know what finals are. I was a high school student for four years and a college student for four years. I know what a fucking exam is. 
and I know what a final is. All right, let's clean. There's no way Sojiro is, like, a bad guy. There's just no way. It's a wild theory, but... I highly doubt it. You know. It's already November. We've gone through pretty much all all the school events now, so that frees you up for studying. Sure. It'll be getting colder from now on, so wrap up warm and don't get sick. I mean, even think if you've got a fever, go see the nurse. Oh, speaking of nurse's office. Dr. Maruki is going to be leaving us on the 18th. Oh, whoops. I wasn't looking. If you need to talk to him, now's the time. He was kind of a quiet guy, but it was nice having him around. I'll be kind of sad to see him go. So if he helped any of you feel better, make sure you thank him before he's gone. Anyway, time to start class. Man, time really flies. A whole year has gone by already. So I guess now is probably a good time to mention this. Uh, speaking of Dr. Maruki... Um, I'm recording this episode on Friday, June 17th. So yeah, I'm this episode is pre-recorded way in advance from when it actually airs. And recently, um, Dr. Uh, Maruki's voice actor unfortunately passed away. It was all over, like internet the internet from what i was seeing just and from what people were talking about he also voiced uh ferdinand in three houses he's a very he was a very good voice actor and he's in this game also but yeah it was so sad to hear that he passed from cancer cancer's a bitch man it's so sad to see it's such a good person pass away like that but yeah, so thoughts and prayers to his family and everybody grieving for him. It's sad. So when it when the game was like, oh, Dr. Maruki's going to be leaving us soon, that kind of hit hit me a little bit. But let's keep going, I guess. Don't it kind of feel different than usual? Do you think? You're getting a weird feeling, too. What do you mean? It's like the people around us seem restless or something. Pretty unsettling, huh? Something's different. It's not just me that thinks nothing has changed. Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Makoto? Someone asked for me. Everything's normal over here. We most certainly did not ask for you. Is Makoto sick today? Sorry, I only just noticed the chat right now. I think everyone's just agitated by the Phantom Thieves rumors. Try not to be affected by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these. Hey. There's 19 days left. Aren't you going to send the calling card? Man, no one wants to hang out. Well, let's go to the, the hideout. Okay. Oh yeah. All we got to do now is send the calling card. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before. The right time. there it is. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? There it is. Saison is a realist, even if she believes the phantom thieves exist. Do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. 
So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akechi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. <laughs> oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a delay of some kind. It makes sense for the plot since we obviously get caught. Can we send it? You'd like to wait on the calling card until the 18th, correct? Saison will come to recognize the danger. In that case, well, let's disband. Hey, hey. So now what? Nobody wants to hang out. Can we develop our social link? Well, oh, it's after school. I'm gonna go work for kindness. That's the plan. Unless you're ready to develop the social link. Nope. Kindness must prevail. I'm just gonna go hard on kindness. I really want to get it maxed. Here. You did great. How are you feeling? Hmm. Nothing. Hello, friend. Hello. Ah, you're back. Inmate. Oh, well, guess we're doing something with the twins instead. No, I'm not gonna fucking call the fucking weird teacher. That is so weird. Hello. What are you gonna do today? All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place you wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is. Somehow capable of simulating the ocean despite being indoors. Rumor has it that sea creatures from all around the world have been gathered in this one place. What an incredulous claim, recreating something as vast as the ocean within a building? Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, escort us there immediately. So you are unaware. Are you really working hard your rehabilitation? If you don't know the place, then you better find it quick. If there's a limit to what you can discover on your own, you may want to turn to the knowledge of others. We've heard that you can acquire a book containing such knowledge in a place where young people gather. Perhaps you should begin your search there. So I gotta find a book on locations. So let us go to the bookstore. Is this it? 
Econo Walker. Let's try here. I don't remember where the other bookstores were. Oh, here's one up here. Can I? There we go. What do you want? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna get all these. Those are all really good books. Yep. Here we go. I knew there was a place with more books. That's incredible. What would you like? Ooh, kindness book, charm book, knowledge book, proficiency book. Yeah. All right, let's go back and read, I guess. Huh. There are a lot of books we have to read now. Oh wait, I have to get rid of the customer you read downstairs. For some reason... You, leave. Hey. I have so many books. I think this is the book, right? Aquarium. Oh. Chow down, hang out, and shop to your heart's content. Nakano's got it all. Between ramen bars and a huge shopping complex, it's a joy to explore. All right. No, that's not it. Oh, aquarium. I request to know where you are. Oh yeah, let's go. So I know we have another one about like locations. Knowledge, kindness, proficiency, charm, darts, baseball, sweets. Knowledge. A book on the old district reborn. Hidden shrines. Fishing ponds. Teak. Knowledge. Aha! The more you know, the more you'll fall in love with this water world. The Shinagawa Aquarium, huh? It looks like the whole other world in there. Pretty exciting stuff. Look at that. Oh. A traveler's hub with access to trains, airports, and a number of hot springs. Sleep with the fishes. A nearby hotel is an aquarium inside. It's fun for the whole family. All right. Cool. Now we can do the twins quest. Good morning. Good morning. I was working late yesterday, so I'm tired today. Speaking of which, I trust you haven't forgotten about the deadline. I'm going to give it everything I have for your sakes as well. Also, once the Phantom Thieves finish this final job, I don't think I'll be seeing you privately like this anymore. What do you mean? 
I mean, it's just how it sounds. Once you've disbanded, everyone's going to be busy tracking down the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Until that happens, though, let's continue to work together. Now then, I'll be going. I've been a teacher for 20 years now, but this has been the craziest year of my career. There were those incidents in April, then the Phantom Thieves and the Principal. Yes, as you young folk might say, the situation is indeed quite whack. Perhaps you're wondering why I use such a hip terminology, hmm? Now then. The word whack was originally part of a code used by ancient thieves. Can you tell me what the meaning of the word whack and thieves can't? A big whacking stick, maybe? No, it's a share of stolen goods. This is it. Oh, not bad. Correct. You know a lot about this, do you? I dare say you must be pretty whack yourself. I'm joking, of course. Still, you must be quite diligent in your studies. These olden days might have worked in groups, but at the end of the day, they all expected to get their cut. If you wanted your part of a haul of riches your group stole, you would demand your whack, you see. That just seems to ask backwards. It's amazing how we've twisted that word. If today's youth are freely using thieves can't to each other in broad daylight, then truly we live in whack times indeed. I've been listening to a lot of teenagers, but I'm not sure I've ever heard them say that. Still, he's trying so hard, it would be a shame to correct him. Oh, here we go. What are we doing today? Set later. Anasaki. Futaba. Yeah, let's go see if we can develop her social link first. We've just got to wait for a scheduled day now. Hey, hey. Are you heading back to LeBlanc? Let's talk if you have some time. Yeah, let's hang out with her. Mm -hmm. Why not? Maybe it just needs the push. Let's go somewhere fun. Yeah. You mean outside? Where are we going to take me? I think it'll be good taking on crowds if you want to try, as long as you're there with me. Maybe there? Can't go to the aquarium with her? No, she's already been here. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, let's go. That's my holy land. I'm so happy this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah, we hit the jackpot, boys. There's figures everywhere you look. They're even more amazing in person. I can't believe how many there are. There's gotta be some super rares buried in there somewhere. Wanna go digging? Really? Oh, you wouldn't mind? Let us begin the expedition. One man's trash is another girl's treasure. Ah, time well spent. Couldn't find any super rares, but the real treasure is the fun we had along the... For real? Wait, what? How could I have been so blind? Right in front of our noses. It's... it's... What is it? This. They don't even make these anymore. I'll explain later. Never thought I'd find the treasure this good here. Wait here. I'm gonna go buy this. Thanks for today. Ah. Nope, we're gonna go to the aquarium with the twins.
All right, I have found your aquarium. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean the aquarium? <laughs> oh, an aquarium, huh? Guess we'll see how well it's recreated, Mother Ocean. Guide me, inmate. Let us see just what humanity is capable of. Now lead us there. These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we're walking along the floor of the ocean. It's my first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me somehow. It's a lot like my cell. That room is a manifestation of another sea, though. The sea of human souls. Perhaps there is some connection after all. Ah, I see. So it does make sense for us to feel some sort of connection here. Let's continue inspecting the premises. There are a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. So many different kinds of fish. Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they are named jellyfish. Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Really? They only creeped me out. The exhibit with the enormous fish was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. No, the killer whale is clearly superior. Inmate. Hey. Settle this. Well, I once did a, a report on the killer whales, so I gotta go with killer whales. Killer whales are my favorite creature, though, so I gotta go with my killer whales. I knew you'd get it right, inmate. How can you not see the undulating allure of the jellyfish? Perhaps you'll understand them better if I remove all of your bones. I believe we've completed our inspection of the premises, correct? We've seen how oceanic life forms from all over the world have gathered here by humans. Indeed, that raises a question though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? To admire nature. So they construct this chamber of concrete and glass only to confine themselves in it alongside the creatures? The arrogance. If they admire nature so much, they should just move to a rainforest. I still don't get you humans. Whatever the case may be, this assignment is now complete. Here is your reward. You two of them. All right, time to head back. Hmm? A free penguin show will begin shortly at the exhibition stage. Please come by and enjoy the performance. What is a penguin? A cute flightless bird. Hmm. We have no particular interest in such a display. But since you look like you're dying to witness this inmate, we'll tag along. After watching the penguin show, I escorted the twins back to the ballroom. I love the innocence to them. Like they're they're super mature and uptight, but they're still like kids deep down. Hey. Oh, okay. Do we not have school today? Can I read? Nope, can't read. Hey, hey. Oh, hello. Yo. Hey, look at that. Yeah, let's develop this bond. The one thing left on the promise list, being okay without you around. But before that, there's something I want to show you. Come to my room. This is one of the promise lists I made with my mom. See, everything on here is marked off as being done. But that's kind of wrong. There was one promise I lied about doing, one promise I never actually finished. It was get along with Kana. This all started back when I was in elementary school. I used to get bullied pretty hard for how weird I was. The other kids always accused me of cheating because I'd get perfect scores on my tests. Then one time I turned in a test with nothing written down instead, but the school ended up yelling at my mom. My life at school was horrible. Sometimes during recess, I'd lock myself in the bathroom and cry. I didn't have a single friend. I was always alone. But then a girl named Kana transferred to my school. She was absent a lot at first. Then when she was there, the other kids bullied her like they did to me. But one day she said something to me. Good morning. She started saying it every day from then on. 
How did you react? Well... To be honest, I completely ignored her the first few times. I thought the boys had put her up to it. But without fail, she'd come over to me and say good morning. Then eventually, I decided to say it back. It felt like my heart was going to shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> but apparently, she'd been saying it to me that whole time because she thought we could be friends. She was the first person who didn't mind how weird I was. I was so happy about making a friend that I told my mom. That's when she added something to my promise list. Get along with Kana. But I couldn't do it. One particularly windy morning, Kana dropped her diary, and the pages flew everywhere. I didn't really mean to look, but I ended up seeing everything she had written down. And once I see something, I can't forget it. It was also horrible. She wrote about how her parents hit her, and how they made her take pictures in weird clothes. Kana's diary was full of stories like that, and when I asked her about it, she got really defensive. I felt terrible, but she kept yelling at me for reading it. You didn't know any better. Yeah, but I couldn't really tell her that. I just froze up. And then I ran. I ran and ran. I wanted her to stop yelling. I wanted to go back to how things were before. Kana ended up moving away pretty soon after that. I haven't talked to her since. So I lied to my mom. Even after Kana left, I would tell her we were best friends. Every month she'd write that promise on my list and every month I'd lie about it. I wish I could apologize to Kana somehow. I really want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for not helping her, though she was going through even worse stuff than I was. Sorry for eating her diary. Sorry for running away. I hate being such a coward. But I think I might be able to face my fears now that I... That I'm a promise setting phantom thief. Get along with Kana. I'm gonna do it for real this time. I didn't mean to tell you all that. Not even Sojiro knows, this is so embarrassing. You have to help me now, got it? Understood. There's another part of our deal. God, Futaba's story is so sad. Moral support may now charge or recover SP. Let's go! Well, I'm gonna get on that right now. Time to go look up Kana's deets. Oh, and sorry, I wasn't too hospitable today. That'll have to wait for next time. Okay. I make like a cheat and dash out of my room. Hello, it's me. Something's not right. When I try looking up Kana's contact info, my fingers suddenly start trembling. I know I promised myself that I'd do this, but when I remember how angry Kana got, I get so scared. I'm right here with you. You're right. I couldn't talk about it to Sojiro, but now I have you on my side. I don't want to run away anymore. I won't give up on Kana. Thanks. Talking to you about this helped calm me down. I'm going to do a little more research on Kana. Oh, and please don't tell anyone else about what we, what we discussed today. Not even Sojiro, okay? Bye. Alright, let's read. Hey. I want to read about kindness. Make sure you close up. How much did we get? Nothing. Have to finish it. Can we get a train? Can we get a train read? Why did we have that Thursday off, by the way? My. Good morning. The Phantom Thieves are all over the newspaper and television. We're outlaws now. We're at the point we can send a calling card, but it makes me anxious to sit around and wait. How about you? Makes me antsy too. Yes. Ah, so we're the same. Pauses like these make me think about a lot of things, even more so since we can't afford to fail. So we're sending the card on the 18th. It's a ways away, but I'd like to spend those days wisely.
This country's been getting dangerous, and peace had been our only redeeming feature. The Phantom Thieves should target somewhere bigger, more global, not this tiny island country. Like, oh, I don't know, the casino city of Las Vegas or something. It was like a dream when I went there. I might not look like it, but I'm good at card games. The four suits of the cards all symbolize something. By the way, look at this. How about you? Clubs is a club, diamonds is a gem, so what does a spade represent? It was a spear, right? No, a sword. Okay. This is it. That was close. Excellent. The spade is a sword. Almost looks like one if you squint, right? And the heart is the Holy Grail. The heart was originally drawn as a cup. They say the suits often represent classes of people. The rulers of the Holy Grail are clergymen. However, there are cards that belong to no class. In other words, they have no suit. The only card without a suit is Joker. Some theories say it originates from the Fool and Tarot decks, but no one knows where it really came from. However, both are trump cards that can bring about unexpected effects. How you use them is critical. Yeah. You heard her, Joker. Pretty good name if I do say so myself. I kinda wish I'd given myself a cooler name. What are your plans? Are we gonna meet up? I can get there quickly from Shibuya. I'll be at the station for a while. Yeah, let's go see him. See if we can develop his social link. Or should we check on Futaba first? Let's check him first. Hey, look at that. I'm in your debt. I owe you one. Seems the answer may have been right under my nose the whole time. You'll see soon enough. Follow me. Yes. And this place has not changed in the slightest. Feels nostalgic. Indeed it does. I haven't come back here since I moved away. <sighs> the truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I'm no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spent most of my young life in this very house. That is why we have come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within this decrepit walls. By coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. Hmm, it won't open. No, I surely left it unlocked. How could this be? But the door is jammed. Hmm, I suppose it was quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even while I was a pupil here. It seems now it is finally broken. We should get it fixed. No. That's a nice idea, but I'm unfortunately not the owner of the house. I cannot call a locksmith. Wish I could fix it myself. I have to struggle with mechanisms as complex as this. I do not have the steady hand required to mend them. Oh, cool. Oh. What happened if I didn't have proficiency? Would it just end there? I see. The police confiscated everything. You know, I lived here not long ago, yet it almost... F but it, yet it... F feels almost like the distant past at this point. Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Ah, uh, and over there was the bookshelf, filled to the brim with various tomes. It contained art compilation books for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. At times, I would take a break from my art to hide and read them. 
this is also where we would gather to eat when the Atli Atle Atlier still had a large pupil count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty food, so what am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? Are you okay? Yes, my apologies. The truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move of their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grime beneath. After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, darkness took hold of me. Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I had so deeply despised in Madarame. You know, Boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you that one night at LeBlanc. He said he didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? Well, he told you it's because he was close to your mother. Right? Maybe he was sympathetic. Hmm, so we return to matters of the heart yet again. It is truly a mysterious beast. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities presented to me. The humble house, that loathsome palace, the kind teacher, and the fiendishly deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What then of my search to pursue beauty? Hello? Someone there, I'm coming in. This is a problem. That'd be the police. I was wondering who could have been in here. You're the man from the exhibition. Indeed, thank you for your conversation back there. More importantly though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Are you perhaps still caught in your slump? Yes. How do you know about that? I know a great deal about you, Yusuke. You've made a name for yourself by patter patterning your work after the beautifully detailed Sayuri. But that painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles? If you'd like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. I. Most of your painting was done while living in this resident, correct? Your current lack of patron must be what is holding you back. Please, take my card. I've made a living in investing in promising young artists like yourself, Yusuke. Oh. Director of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akio Kawanabi. But why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibition. Because I feel you have talent. Now, my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle interests you, we can talk further at a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to, but I hope you hear I hope to hear from you soon. Yes. The Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. And it was all because you opened that door for me. Hmm, it seems good luck is simply a characteristic of yours. In your debt. You have my thanks, leader. That was a good that was a good one. That was a good social link. Alright. Shall we return home? I must be going now. I'd like to think of this some more. See you. Farewell. I just realized also we need a persona to help with Futaba. So we'll go fuse one real quick. I apologize, I lost my composure today. The emotions I felt in that house still remain within me to this day. I don't think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all this. By the way, that gentleman, Kawanabi was it? What's your impression of him? He seems reliable. Yes, considering he was able to instantly pinpoint my weakness, he certainly is no ordinary man. And I think such a man has faith in my talent. As someone with neither a home nor a patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I may be able to find a way out of my slump once I can fully focus on my drawing. In any case, this deserves serious thought. I may come to you for advice again. Ah, you're 
back. Hey. Let's go. Here, let's go. To the velvet room. I want to get a persona for Futaba. What does she want? Confidant. Okay. Utaba is a hermit. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Genius hacker, one year younger than you. She opened... Yeah, okay. Alright. I need a... Wait, do I have one? I don't have one. Nope. So make sure I have everything else that I need. So I don't need Chariot anymore, but I'm gonna keep him just cause he's good. I need a Hyro for Sojuro, Priestess for Makoto. No, I don't need Makoto's anymore cause we got that maxed. Actually, put it, hold on, I'm gonna pause real quick. I just made some quick little strike throughs for uh, the personas we don't need anymore. So we need a, a Hyro for Sojuro, which we have. We need a Lovers for On, which honestly, I don't think we need Lovers for On because it's it would have progressed by now because we've hung out with her a few times and developed her uh, social. So it's probably just waiting for plot to advance it. So yeah, we just need the Hermit. So let's go get one. She's got one hell of a kick to her, by the way. So, I think we just strengthen, right? What are you waiting for? Actually, no. Let's power up this dude. What are you waiting for? No, but we want to save it. I don't think we're going to need faith anymore because... Um, Kasumi's, I think, is just going to be the next plot developed one. So I think this is safe. And she's already at rank 4 out of 5. So, yeah, I think it's just waiting for the story to progress. She's probably going to be a late game max, if I were to guess. And he gets repel physical, which he actually doesn't need. But I want it. So I can pass that on to other fusions. Salt drive. He heavy to one. 61, 57. Yeah, no, we don't need a soul drive. Cool. Okay, now we can summon a hermit. Change your mind. You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. I have a hermit, right? I've got to. Aha, Naga. Let's just get the cheap one. This persona? Is there anything good that I could this potentially persona? fuse? Is this what you want? This persona? Not really. Nah, right, we'll just go buy corn. Cool. Done already. What? Nice. All right. Evening. Let's go back to the cafe and let's read. Finish the kindness book. Anyone here? Ooh, crossword. Hey, hey. What do we got? A seasonal skybound event. It's gonna be a Japanese thing, so I have no idea what it's gonna be. A 
It doesn't say. Oh, here it is. Fireworks. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I wouldn't call fireworks seasonal, though. So we light fireworks off all year. On holidays, like New Year's, the 4th, even Christmas a little bit. Now let's read. Hey. Make sure you're Give me that kindness. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Wow. Only three and we didn't even level. Man, kindness is tough. That was a nice boost, though. Hey, Saturday. Ooh. Hey. You can read again. Didn't we have a Guts one in here somewhere? Efficiency, Charm, Darts, Baseball, Knowledge, Video Games, that'd be a good one. That's so many Knowledge books. Yeah, I definitely went too aggressive on Knowledge in the beginning of the game. Yeah, let's read the video game one. Just because we have the video games that give guts. All right. Ah, it's already been 52 minutes. Wow. Hey, why don't we try asking Futaba to look into the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I, mean, I suppose Futaba's ability to process information is truly world class after all. Damn, you're smart, Haru. I already tried. And? I know so much now, it's hard to make heads or tails of it. Suspicious people appear, then they disappear. It's been that over and over again. So they are manipulating information to keep anyone from reaching the truth. But there's one thing I know for sure. Whoever we're going against now is more dangerous than we can possibly imagine. Yeah, but we already knew that, though. Hey, she wants to hang out. Let's go. No one else wants to hang out. Hey, hey. Yo. Hey, hey. Yeah, let's just hang out with her. Keep this moving. I said I'm going to take this really aggressively. I really want to get her maxed out. Yeah, let's go back here. See, see, see if she still likes it. Yeah, okay, cool. Seems the atmosphere of this area is comforting her to her. Yeah, this is her favorite area. Done, let's go home. I didn't have to look it up. I just assumed this is just the place she would like. I <laughs> Said later. Hey, good evening. I'm in Kichijoji right now. Thanks for the help the other day. You're a real gun enthusiast, not a wannabe. If I can trust you, so I'll teach you about the shop. What do you say? Said later. Let's go see what Akechi wants. And if Akechi doesn't have a, a social link ready to be developed, then we'll go do the the gun store. Hey. Nope. What do you want to do? Actually, let's just hang out with it. Maybe it maybe it needs another push. Maybe it like hard caps before he joined us. Hmm. A 
Okay. Let's head out. Hey, hey. Hello, Futaba. Nope, it's waiting for her. All right, see you. What's in here? do then I think we just go work right I feel like that's the best play what do you want to do I should read that flower book also that'd make bouquets a lot easier I just want to max kindness. Please, game. You did great. That's all I ask. How are you feeling? Hmm. No. Nope. head back. Let's try that guts game again. Ah, you're back. Well then. Unless there's a kindness game, but I highly doubt it. At least not that I'm aware of. Oh. Knowledge, charm, guts, charm, proficient. Let's try this. The game that I can't even progress in. Okay. Well then. Use the technique. I don't get it. What the fuck? Oh, I got it! Oh, you have to do it all in one sequence. Oh, oh that's bullshit. Thank God for the timer, otherwise I'd never figured that out. Nice. I'm moving up in life, fellas. Hey. Hey. Who wants to hang out? Triple seven, but we're done with them. Now's our chance. Cause we've maxed charm. later you know what in honor of the actor passing away let's go hang out with him dr. Maruki in honor of your extremely talented voice actor Hello. how are things going my time here is almost up so we won't be able to talk like this anymore oh that's depressing do you maybe have time today? Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to develop his bond right now, but we're doing it in his honor. Well, see you. Man, even less people think we're innocent now. Ah, you're back. There's a place I'd like to show you. It's a bit bit of a hole in the wall, but I'm fond of it. You should be able to relax here at least. The incident last time won't happen again. About to head there myself, would you like to join me? Yeah, see, I just needed 
one little push. Let's go develop this. Hey. This is it. It's a rather nice place. It's not quite an apology for that little incident back at the cafe, but rest assured we're safe here. I'm a regular. It's nice to take some time off when we can, don't you think? What kind of place is this? It's just a jazz club. You get to hear some great performers here. Now this is my kind of club. I'm glad you're so taken with it. It's safe to assume you've visited places like this before. Very well. In any case, let's head in. What will you do? Well then why don't we get some drinks? Any recommendations? Nothing in particular, but if you don't mind me choosing, then I'll put in a random order. You don't have any soft drinks you actively dislike, yes? Thanks for waiting, here's your order. We have a special performance today, so I hope you enjoy it. Who the fuck is that? Is that you, Risei? Looks like it's starting, let's sit back and enjoy the show. God, imagine if they just had a Risei cameo. Hmm. Ooh, how relaxing. I really do like coming here. It's a great place. I'm glad to hear you say that. Working obligations take me to quite a few restaurants and cafes, but this place is a little more special to me. I guess you could call it my go-to place. Do you have anywhere like that? Shop with great coffee. Are you talking about LeBlanc? If I recall, you're actually staying there. But is that really a go-to place if you actually live there? Though I have to say I'm envious. You must be quite well stocked on coffee and curry. I live alone myself, but I rarely have the time to cook my own meals. That reminds me, do you cook? Pretty frequently, actually. Very impressive. Wow, that's impressive. I don't have much experience myself. Even my efforts in cooking class have been underwhelming. In particular, an attempt to fillet a fish went poorly. I usually come here when I need some time to really think on my own. So chatting with you here is really quite refreshing. Speaking of which... You know, you're the first person I've ever brought here. It's not like I was keeping it from anyone, but... I suppose it goes to show we do have some strange connection. Was this, like, rank 3? Oh, rank 4. Look at that. Right. Yeah, we gotta start working on his bond also. Goodbye. But Futaba's top priority because support units are always the ones with the best skills. Hey, it's me. Are you good to talk right now? Wasn't the music today wonderful? Live bands always have this certain power to their music. Certainly the point of jazz is all those jam sessions. A sea of improvisation, both complex and organic. As each player incorporates their own flavors, a natural melody is born from chaos. There's something about that strange, erratic synchronicity. It's a euphoria like when I managed to solve a case. Yeah, I kind of get it. Well, I'm glad I brought you along then. I thought I'd have more luck if I brought someone who I know can keep up with me intellectually. Jazz is deep and complex style. I'd love for us to sit down and really talk about it sometime. Uh, I should let you go. Somehow I only always end up talking more than usual when it's with you. Expect another invitation soon. For now, please excuse me. And it continues to decline. Hello. Hey. We'll be sitting the yeah. I'd like to play. I wanna play. <laughs> See you maintain your composure, I suppose you're made of sterner stuff. Very well. Our existence depends on the strategy, let's do everything we can. Last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today we'll be learning about what you're asking if the Phantom Thieves would be given a trial if they get caught. Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between the deaths and their activities. In short, they would be put on trial for murder. Hey. You know it, right? Tell me how old you have to be to listen in on a trial. Oh, it's any age. Because there's no way to be 65 or 80. Exactly. 
That makes no sense. That's right, no age restrictions for listening in on a trial. You can get in whether you're zero or 85. Youth crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public, meaning you can all go attend. Well, I imagine the visitor seats will be full if the Phantom Thieves are put on trial. Everyone is dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. Wow, we got it right. Is he really a criminal? He seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense for an age limit on a trial. Let's go see if On's ready to max out her social link. If not, we'll call it an episode. Oh, yeah. Nope, not ready. Alright, see you on the next one, everyone.